here we go, here we go. First video in my training vlog. This is why I work out. I love eating. Cooking is awesome. I used to be really fat, Storm. Pretty chubby. But I work, started working out because of my weight. I played uh, high school football. And with football, you could pretty much eat much as you want. Any food for junk. And if you train about four or five hours a day, a lot of it just went to muscle. You didn't really care about your macro calories whatsoever. You just had to eat a good amount of food. And you just worked hard. But the problem was, after high school football ended, I still kept eating like a football player. Eventually, I ballooned from 240 pounds to 210 pounds at my peak. Now, I've always been pretty fat uh, throughout my childhood, but that kind of put me over the edge. So, like any other members of the public, I started uh, working out on Ju January 1st of the New Year's resolution. I started to, I took one personal training session, and that, that's all that I needed for some reason. A lot of, a lot of my former clients, they need several sessions, but I did one, move on to circuit training style, and once I got to college, I did more of a bodybuilding style with uh, a couple of good friends of mine, which I still talk to to a very, very uh, this day, and still very good friends with them. But after college, I started moving more onto a powerlifting style. I thought during college I would have a lot more time to work out, which uh, bodybuilding style requires, but life happens, man, and after college, I got actually busier, so I started following more of a powerlifting style, tried a bunch of different kinds out, I actually did kind of powerlifting style back in college too, but now I'm sticking with more of a solid programming structure, I'm doing a Wendler 531 with my own variation, a lot of bodybuilding style or type of training thrown in because I still enjoy doing that. I still love working out. Or training rather. And just want to uh, document what my journey is. None of my ways are very impressive. Kind of a medium medium weight uh, before I hit start hitting the impressive numbers but if I was I figured if I was more on top of things, if I actually documented, I would be more honest with myself with my progress. So that's the way I started. Today is a squat day. Starting off with weight was 225 for 5. One thing with squats is uh, I've never really had too much trouble with it, but I need a good mindset going in. Uh, there's a lot of concentration that goes into it. One problem that I have these days is. Uh, called a butt wink, where you don't keep your core tight in the bottom, you lose concentration. It looks like I have pretty, pretty good control over here, but coming into this workout, uh, I had a lot of things on my mind to uh, work with pretty bit, I think I'm to travel next week, so a little shot, but then again, some workouts, I, I come in without a pre-workout, I feel great. This workout, uh, as you can see, kind of, it'll start breaking down. Now, I do require a lot of warm-up before I work out. By the time the second set rolls out, I'm usually uh, primed up. The problem becomes, I start getting a lot cocky. And I start concentrating, so like that last, last rep right there, I don't know if you saw that, but the upper back started caving in. So, now once I get to my heaviest set of 
Well, today is 25. We're aiming for 7, minimum 5. My mind isn't to... My mind is kind of primed up, but it isn't constant. It isn't where it should be. I should be focusing on all the steps. But once I get once I get primed up, I get cocky, but at the same time, fatigue starts setting in a little bit. It's kind of a weird mix. I uh, just blast my music, and I don't concentrate as much. So, what my cue of keeping my chest up. Or in, my, in the video, is uh, where my elbow placement is. I would try to concentrate on keeping my chest up, so at the same time, tuck my elbows more perpendicular to the floor. But as we'll see, it will start cocking backwards once I get tired. I walk out. Get I gut. Jeez. <laughs> Starting already with a grinder, that wasn't too bad, but as you can see the elbow already popped backwards and my hips shoot up a lot quicker. Third set, or sorry, the third rep, fourth rep, not as bad, kind of get in the groove of it, and then try to do a little longer break, fifth rep. So one thing I have to keep in mind is keeping my chest up, otherwise my hips shoot up real fast. Sixth rep, I'm taking a longer break. At this point I'm getting pretty exhausted. Going for my seventh rep down here. And then I think what I did was I lost count. I said, oh. Better just do one more just to make sure. But then it turned into a leaning tower of. <laughs> yeah, I gotta put a little more effort into that one. But I mean, it's, it's just a work in progress. And after I do my back squats, one thing I've been doing a lot actually is uh, front squats. Front squats, something I don't know why. Started obsessing over it. I actually enjoy it a lot, but it, it helps me in an accessory workout because it keeps my chest up. A lot more upper body involvement. Another thing is, although this this one I'm not really holding on the bar, I used to do the, to the, to the front squat with cross arm, but with improved shoulder mobility, I think also in, in uh, help with the... Front squat, holding the front squat, I, I can hold it Olympic, Olympic uh, lifting style. My uh, buddy Vince is all, Vin, Vince, <laughs> that's from POG. My buddy Vince in the background, the only other Asian in the gym. Uh, he's a pretty, pretty good guy. He's doing all thing. And him and I get along pretty well. Just chatting it up, doing my social thing. Wasting time. But I do enjoy front squats a lot. Uh, Jindler, or Wendler 531 calls for accessory workout. I don't see a lot of other people doing front squats with it. But since I've been going up in weight, I've in uh, front squat weight, I've been just sticking with it. And hopefully I can hit 315 for reps here pretty soon. My last go around, I did hit. 275 for 3, so, who knows, just chatting up, chatting up, wasting time, spinning the wheels, I think I'm, I think Ben's talking about going on vacation, so honestly, when I'm exhausted, people would talk to me, and then I just nod, I speed things up here a little bit, yak, 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 I waste a lot of time in the gym. A 190 for 5. Oh, one thing I did have a uh, problem with coming in for today's session was my hamstrings were real tight. Uh, I did a pretty good deadlift session earlier in the week. I don't think I stretched it out. And I think I did hit parallel on these. 
but uh, fast plus I usually like to go a lot deeper. So just gotta loosen up a little bit more better. More better is that a word? Then I do 220 for 5. I believe I do that for 3 sets in total. And this one I don't do it with a belt. Actually, a lot of a lot of my lifts I try to do it without a belt. Try to keep my core strength up. And eventually, I do want to do a powerlifting meet maybe next year sometime, April or May. So I I need to get a powerlifting belt at one point. But I'm just gonna try to do it without the belt. Now that that helps with the core strength. At the same time, uh. My farm would break down on the heavier lift once I get tired. With a trade-off, if I could do, if I could hit those heavier weights without a problem, I should be fine. Oh, you know already. But at the same time, I keep my core. It's it's a dilemma. I've been doing it without. I'm still fat, so it's all right. Now this is the last set. Getting a little tired. I also notice how I don't like looking at myself in the mirror because I get distracted. I don't know why. I just get distracted. Me with myself. Mind games, man. So freaking mind games. Yep, speed up the last set here. Yeah, I double over a lot. Yeah, throw the elbows up, man. Throw your hands up. I think I at least hit parallel out on those. Uh, I guess the real I like to do is leg press. I guess I like to throw in bodybuilding kind of exercise. And one thing that uh, I do have trouble with, I don't have trouble really, really with coming out of the hole, is uh, I have trouble midway to locking out. So I, I like to go overload training. Actually, in reality, I have to go up to 10 plates on each side with leg press, but what I ha started doing was I started going a lot more full range of motion. I went a lot lower, so like today, I'm doing 7 plates on each side for 4 sets of 12, but I go a lot, lot deeper now. So I, and I try to feel out every single motion so that when I get when I get stuck, I would know when I'm squatting. And with a foot positioning, I try to make sure that uh, I'm in the same foot position as squats. Because I mean, in reality, I'm trying to try to improve my squats. Knock these out. I used to do a lot of drop sets with these, but uh, I'm just gonna stick with. Great sets these days. Well, one thing I do, well, one thing I used to not do was unload weights. I realized, man, a lot of people just they can't do that much weight anyway. Even with one plate on each side, that's really hard for people. Maybe I'm. Going old or something, maybe weak, but I, I rather not see people struggle with taking the weights off. If I'm using something, I want to clean up after myself. Uh, that's some PP of mine, people not putting the weights back. I, put all, I try to put all the weights back. I used to be like, oh, we could do two plates, but I think that's silly. Uh, moving on to Lake Crow. There's no one. This gym is a really small gym. So there's only one hamstring machine. I mean, you could do other hamstring exercises, but for accessory, I like to do machine just to make sure I got pretty good form and kind of walking in motion. So for the accessory, I like to do four sets of uh, leg press, two sets of curls, two sets of extensions, and 
for these, I like to do the more contractional stuff, so I do a higher rep scheme. Uh, I forget what this brand was, Preaker or something. It was Life Fitness, probably, yeah, honestly. I'm trying to bang out 20 of them. Look at that. I don't even get full range of motion. Horrible. That butt just lifted up. Finishing off with extensions. Oh, I actually took calves after, but I didn't. I don't know. I think it's pretty boring to film. It was a uh, 220, two sets for 20. And I'm not sure why. But the camera just kind of falls off. <laughs> That's it for today's session. I started recording a lot more. But if I'm going to upload into YouTube videos, I got to have uh, some kind of. I got a niche, man. What's up? I wish I had a. I mean, yeah, I wish I had a really good lifting partner to make it a lot more fun. But that's it for today. And then. I'll probably record less of accessory work or the big work. Just trying to keep myself uh, honest with myself. Ciao.